Welcome back. So I'm here for a bonus chart of the week. Restricted trading, now what? Today's Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Before we get into this topic and look at the markets, important reminder, more than ever, that trading and investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion advice, or other content contained in this video. So it's been a wild day here and you will find plenty of detailed information on this, but long story short, some very uh, popular brokerage firms like TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, I believe Interactive Brokers, have restricted trading on a ton of tickers here. And we're gonna look at some of those charts, but I wanna go through a few pointers for you. Whether you have no idea this is happening and you're fearing about this for the first time now, you were aware, but you trade futures like me, and so you weren't directly affected by it, or you particularly don't trade these stocks, and so you weren't affected, or whether you're one of the unfortunate folks caught in this mess. So I first wanna say I am sorry that uh, this is a condition that we're in. Um, leaders of companies have reasons for making their decisions. I cannot speak to that. I have a daily affirmation about not judging others because I haven't lived their life. I will say though, that changing the rules of the game in the middle of the game is really, really tough for the players. So I feel for you, okay, I really do. So breathe, just breathe. <clears throat> Restricted trading has happened in the past. Now, not necessarily in this style, but it has occurred. And so there's precedent for not being able to access a position um, and then being able to get to it later. The key here that I wanna bring up is whether you are stuck in a really tough situation or you're just watching this as an outsider in awe, this is a very important reminder to know your strategies, okay? For example, like naked options are very dangerous because they have very uh, unlimited technically exposure, especially if you're trying to short the market or do a strategy counting on prices going down, you have technically unlimited exposure to the upside. And that is the reason that some of these leaders of these brokerage firms is using to try and restrict trading to protect not just you, but also them and their uh, business partners, clearing houses, everybody else, okay? So if you are trading anything more than a direct buying or selling of shares, you've got to know your strategies. You've got to make sure you understand not only the rewards potential, but the risks involved. Just remember that. Now you also better know your margins, all right? You've got to know what you have to have in your account to be able to trade X amount of anything. You've got to know your margins within your trading, not overextend yourself because then even if crazy stuff like this happens, you're uh, not personally in the hole, all right? So because I cannot reach out to each and every one of you regarding your specific trading, your specific strategies, I can only uh, do so much to help in this extreme moment. But what I can do is take you to the charts and let's just breathe, remember to know your strategies, remember to know your margins, and let's look at the charts. And we're gonna look at a few of these restricted stock charts right now. All right, guys, so here I'm on the five minute chart. I know it's insane, the volatility. It looks like it should be a daily chart, but this is a five minute chart of GameStop. Okay, this is the type of volatility they were talking about that is just wild right now. So I remember <clears throat> actually getting a question about this in group coaching yesterday. And when I did, okay, the market was in this sideways piece right here. I pointed out that this is a dangerous game to play because you already had a giant gap up from a previous price action and a huge candle. I mean, the range of yesterday's candle was like multiple, multiple times the size of the average prior daily candle. After that monthly group coaching and we come into the market this morning, you can see there was an opening gap lower and a run up higher. Still, even in all this crazy, crazy world, I wanna show you where price went to, okay? For starters, if you connected these rising highs, we literally stop right there. This is just my funky twist on trend lines. This is not any sort of special forecasting momentum tool. I'm just showing you, even in these crazy times, the markets still have underlying forces 
that follow patterns, that follow a rhythm, if you will, okay? Then all of this business unfolded. And this move to the downside, what did it do? It closed the gap from earlier this week. It also came to this old top. This was a prime opportunity to get your bearings. Now, not stick your hand out and buy a falling knife, but get your bearings if you were short. So the folks in the middle of this right here, okay, the traders that are caught up in this right here, again, these are unprecedented times. So because I cannot know when you'll be able to take new position action, I cannot make a recommendation on what to do. I mean, but what I can say is that this is all consolidation after a move to the downside. I think just based on the price action that it's most likely to break to the downside. Okay, and get back toward this uh, 190 area and then maybe down to 160 to 150. All right, let's look at another. All right, this is BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. Again, a five minute chart that has a $25 range to it over the past couple days, pretty wild. So what's happening right now here Okay, RSI power zones lifting up from the bear support power zone and return to the bear resistance power zone. So there's a consolidation happening here and this $35 range is the area to watch. If the shares are able to get back above it, then you might see a little bit more substantial recovery towards about $43 to $45. On the other hand, if it falls below this range, that's when I wanna take us back to the daily chart, which again, these are crazy wild charts then you could bring your focus back to this low here, 28.78. Okay, so the last one I'm gonna look at here with you is American Airlines, AAL. And again, I'm starting on the five minute chart because of the ranges that have been going on here, they're pretty wild. So we had a gap higher to start the morning, came back in and basically just closed the gap. I mean, it didn't do it 100%, but more or less uh, closed the gap and is starting to rebound. The middle, the middle of this whole fall is very important to watch. And that coincides with the early high we had about an hour after the open. So this 1930 to 1960 area. Again, I know I'm speaking within a context that's so crazy to me of not even necessarily being able to take the type of trade you want to take. But if you're in any of these stocks and you're stuck in them in an unfortunate position, you still need to stay on top of them. Remember what I said earlier, you got to know your strategies, got to know your margin. You've got to know the environment in which you trade and um, use that to best navigate the situation. All right. So we'll stay on top of this. Perhaps I'll be back with more updates. Please uh, let us know. Uh, subscribe to my channel here. Write to my team, support at hemoradio.com. If you found this helpful, what else do you think might help you as we navigate these wild times together? All right, catch you next time. You can sign up at the link to get my hot, timely, actionable updates as soon as I publish right to your inbox.